Hello there. Hey. Hey. Hello. My name is Josh, and uh, I'm 33 years old now. And I've been married to my smoking hot wife for nine years. Woo. Thanks for that one person that supports marriage. We have two babies, and uh, that's what you do when you're in your 30s, is you make babies, because the internet told me. So I followed the lead, and uh, babies are great, because they eat your disposable income, they throw up on your favorite shirt, they poop out your dreams, and they scream at your wife while you're trying to keep her focused on having sex. These guys know what I'm talking about, right? She's like, is that one of the kids crying? No, this is, this is, a, this is a dog. This is a bunny. <laughs> Just trying to keep her focused. Over here, over here. Everything's happening over here, honey. Who wouldn't want this kind of lifestyle, right? But kids are great. Um, kids are really funny because they do things that are kind of crazy. Uh, my son is seven now, and he's getting to the point where he he's getting wiser, so he knows how to take advantage of me when I say stupid things. Um, a while back, he had the stomach flu which is really when you question God's creative process. You know, like really, it's both ends simultaneously. Does that have to, we couldn't get a one-way shut-off valve in there somewhere. But uh, he's been sick all day. He's been pooping, he's been puking on, off. It's, it's just terrible. So it's finally bedtime, praise the Lord. So I say, Cody, really, buddy, you just need to stay in your room, get some sleep is what you need, bud. Just get in your bed. Don't come out. So a couple hours pass, and... I hear him kind of rattling around in his room. His room is right next to mine. And, and, and like two minutes later, he comes in. He's like, Daddy, I want, I want potty again. I'm like, oh, okay, buddy. I don't know. Are you, are you okay? Is everything all right? And then the lights kind of turn on. I'm like, I didn't hear the bathroom light turn on. I didn't hear anything happen in the, in the loo. And so I'm suddenly like, okay, honey, we got like DEFCON 5. We got to move. So we go running into his room. And we're looking for the deposit and we can't find it, which is odd. And we're like, Cody, where is it? And he's like, I ain't telling you nothing. And so we're looking and we're looking and finally my wife finds these two little poop smeared grips on his train table like this. And then immediately behind it, she pulls back the curtain and there's a hand smear, like in the Titanic love scene, but only with poop. <laughs> and she's like, I don't understand. And then she looks down. That little bugger gripped his train table and copped a squat over the heat vent. Oh. How's that for Picasso? That guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> so he, he poops down the heat vent and it's like the most horrendous diarrhea you've ever experienced in your life. And it's three in the morning. I'm thinking like, okay, this has to be like a service master call or something. No, my wife's like, I have the solution. It's vinegar. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of cleaning solutions in my house, and vinegar is not on the top of my list of favorite scents to put in with, with cleaning. <laughs> but she is insistent on this, so I grab a three-foot-long screwdriver and a rag. I tie that on the end, I douse that in vinegar, and then I just pour some vinegar in there. So I dip that. Whoa! I got violent with my dipping. So I dip the screwdriver in there, and I'm stirring that thing like a black cauldron of diarrhea soup until the heat kicks on. Puts me right on my back, and I crawl over to my son, and I say, why did you poop in the heat bed? He says, Dad, you told me not to leave my room. Like, You're such a smart boy. But we recently moved out of that house, thank the Lord, and we moved into a new neighborhood, which is right across the street from a lake, uh, which is great, because uh, my house is literally worth one-fifth my neighbor who lives on the lake, which makes for great conversation at the mailbox. I'm like, hey, good morning. Sorry about your property value. <laughs> good for you guys. But we love our new neighborhood, and it's great because uh, the guys in my neighborhood are finally getting past oogling my wife as she's bent over working in the garden, which is great. Uh, we, you know, that's one of the things that I've had to come to deal with with a smoking hot wife. And trust me, I don't say that to like say, oh, look how cool I am. I realize I way out punted my, kind of, out -punted my coverage with her. Um, but we were working out at the gym a while together. My wife's a personal trainer, so I kind of have to. Um, but we were doing the ellipticals together, right? So we're doing the ellipticals. And uh, this, this gym bro walks up. And for those who don't know what a gym bro is, he's the guy that cuts off his sleeves. He's got the Brett Michaels headband. He's got the earmuff, uh, headphones on. And he wears his weight belt to do everything in the gym, even this one, right? <laughs> he's doing that one. 
And so this gym girl walks, I'm not even kidding, he walks up within five feet of us and he's just staring at my wife. Now ladies, you need to understand that we as men have like a head nod language. There's a whole language just around the motion of our heads. So at, at this point I give him the up. Like, how you doing? You know, it's the general sign of what's going on. In my case I'm saying like, can I help you or something? Really? Now the general response to the up is the down. Right? <laughs> which is a sign of respect. Hey, how you doing? I see you, you see me, we're good, right? But he doesn't give me the down, he gives me an up. Totally a sign of aggression, <laughs> clearly. So I'm upset now and I obviously have to do something, so I give him a more aggressive up. <laughs> I'm giving him the eyeball thing. Then he gives me the snicker side head bop. Like, I don't give a what you think. So at that point, I have to. I, I have no choice but to throw down the chin down bow up. Right? I mean, I got to show him I am a silverback gorilla. I will defend. So he kind of backs off and he, you know, he goes on about his business. A couple days later, I'm back in the gym, but this time by myself. And he comes and he sits down next to me and he says, hey, would you want to work out with me sometime? And in my head, I'm like, no! Are you kidding? You just oogled my wife for you nuts. But I live in Minnesota, so I'm like, yeah, we should do that sometime. Yeah. Cool, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But then not even two days after that, and I'm not making this up, but this is the truest story I've ever told. I'm, I'm stretching, and I'm hanging from this bar with my two hands above my head. And Jimbro comes up behind me and does this. <laughs> up my sides, sound effect and all. And I realized I've been doing the wrong head knot sequence all along. So, there you have it. I'm done. Like that.